Blood Center Eight and Hamar Day Off, but I just want to talk because I can talk. The drivers off had no one scheduled to be in my face for an hour or two. So rather than just doing what I can in a very short time, I'm doing what I can in a long time. But I mean, the next show is a Tuesday thing. I should go outside. So this is the Wednesday show, I guess. Because it's a free-for-all and I can do whatever I want for one day. And this is whatever I want. It's just whatever. And uh, the topic is... Uh, the topic is... I don't know what the topic is, it's just random. It's about the wildfires in California. I don't even know if there's fires, but definitely the hydro is turned off, which is just going to be people. And in BC, we have rain shadow. It's like Vancouver gets a huge amount of rain. I don't know what it is. But Cam gets like no rain. And I kind of have a scheme about building five satellite cities behind the mountains. Like New Groves, New Seymour, New Cyprus, and New Britannia, and New Fur Creek. Those are the five towns. <laughs> Well, the truth is, a few things went wrong, wrong there. I mean, late in food and lunch, showed up bad, bad early, though I didn't have endless time at all. And then, I went to search Cool Earth, I failed to land it. They know on our Mac laptop, just iOS machines. And uh, I only got a Mac laptop right now. So that's a factor. But these five cities were made of carbon sequestered cement and then no. Well, I was going to say they were 
lies on the ground in Mrs. Brown. Up there with that and Brown or that. That's okay, that's I'll leave to the future. And then uh, there's boring tales, boring from every place to the coast. So Drive on the vans to get the downs. How is that possible? Yeah, this blog is kind of falling off a cliff, but that doesn't mean it's totally stupid ideas like the five city idea sounds too wild and the boring and the mountains well boring and the mountains the climbers man just about me is bored for water like the water goes out of the dam stays at the dam and goes through town to the Squamish Valley on the other side of the mountain. It's a known thing. People do it. But could people do it? In this case, that's the question. Well, and would be 20 minutes to and the mountains uh, that's something I don't know. There's lots of things I don't know. Like the, the rain. I am really got good data. This shows that rain in the back of mountain. mountains. Probably rain the bed. But it might be enough to make Dry, dry place because sometimes the rain can get oppressive and people would like to be able to go to a place without rain. Anyway, just saying. I have to add a couple things to sweeten the deal. Like this, the whole idea has been around for a while. I think I came up with it in the hospital about six months ago. And I, I think I did a bug on it already. But uh, now, let's see if it matured a bit. The whole thing would be out of the clouds too. So it would be a great place for solar. That would be how it would get that electricity. Would be solar. And with solar you could do vertical farms. Because LED lights need power. And you put the high rises out of his sequestered cement too. So one for farming is possible. So this place would be a good place to live because you have free food and free electricity. But that's all just dreaming.